Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Um, I feel there's a bit of a misconception when it comes uh, to some of the ailments that we have today. Um, some, there are some that uh, don't think that the old timers uh, dealt with uh, some of the um, ailments that we have uh, today or that are fairly common today. And the big one that comes to mind is anxiety. Um, anxiety was prevalent uh, back then just as much as it is now, although the old timers, they called it nerves. They didn't call it uh, anxiety like we do today. And uh, with everything that's been going on and continue to going on, you know, anxiety is increasing right straight across the board. But there were several um, natural remedies that uh, the old timers, they used um, to uh, help them with their nerves when uh, things were going bad and uh, they were having uh, bad days and uh, whatnot. And it's actually a fairly common um, plant that grows by me that they uh, use. They would use it both uh, fresh and uh, dried and it was something that they would harvest and they would dry and uh, have it in the winter time so it was something that was available to them um, year around now i actually went out and uh, i harvested some of this plant in my uh, yard because it grows uh, just uh, wild around me um, i harvested some of that this morning i'm going to cut that um, that video in here for you guys to show what that plant is and I'm going to come back here on uh, the workbench I'm going to show you uh, how the old timers went ahead and uh, utilized that plant uh, to help them with their uh, anxiety or as they called it nerves this is the catnip plant um, Catnip is a member of the mint family, and it's pretty prevalent here in um, Michigan. This particular plant here um, just came up wild in my uh, backyard, and I also have a, another plant over here a little bit from it that is actually uh, going to seed. Um, it's always uh, beneficial to learn uh, the plants that are uh, useful to you that are just growing in your own yard. I don't put any um, spray or any type of uh, herbicide or anything on my lawn. I just let things uh, grow naturally and uh, use them as I find them. A um, couple of nuances with uh, this old time medicine and uh, sort of woven in with uh, the native culture and uh, native uh, medicine making. Um, you always uh, collect plants that you're going to use for medicine in the morning. Um, that is one of their traditions. And another tradition is uh, you always want to leave a offering of uh, tobacco as Thanksgiving when you harvest these plants. That's uh, also a uh, tradition that's pretty prevalent in native cultures and it's one that I also follow. So we're actually going to uh, take some of the leaves off of this uh, catnip plant here and I'm going to show you guys what these, uh, these leaves can be used for. All right, guys, these are the catnip leaves that I uh, harvested this morning, and I got them in just a small uh, coffee cup here. I'm doing this um, the fresh way. Of course, you could do it the uh, dried way. They would collect, uh, the old timers would collect catnip, and they would dry it, and they would put that uh, dried catnip in, um, like, tea balls, and they would put that in uh, their uh, cups when they would make their catnip tea like I'm doing here. Um, but if they used it fresh, they would take a little piece of uh, kindling out of the wood box and they would just uh, whittle it smooth and they would use this to muddle or bruise these leaves inside the cup. And they would just uh, kind of pound on these a little bit to bruise them. They make a little bit of a, to kind of break up the leaf a little bit to let some of the uh, essential properties come out of the leaf. I got that bruised up good enough there. All right, now when um, this water is boiling, which it is right now, we're gonna actually pour a little bit on, uh, on this um, leaf here. That was about eight leaves to start with. Um, typically when you're making catnip tea, you're going to let this, uh, let this steep for about uh, 10 minutes before you go ahead and uh, drink this. And then you can, of course, uh, 
take a spoon and you can uh, take the leaves out after they're done steeping. Plus, you can uh, you could add some flavoring into this. You could add a little bit of lemon in this. You could add a uh, little bit of honey in this if you want a little bit of flavor. I'm just going to leave it uh, straight here. It's also something because this is a bit of a sedative. Um, this will help you sleep and uh, kind of calm you down. Um, so you don't want to use this like during the uh, during the early part of the day. It's something that you want to use in the evening, and that's typically when the old timers would use this in the evening. It's about between eight and nine o'clock now. So anyway, we're gonna let this steep for about ten minutes, and then we're gonna we're gonna try it for you guys. All right, guys, it's been about ten minutes here that this is uh, steeped. We're gonna take our spoon here, and we're gonna just lift this big old chunk out of here. Still got a couple small pieces in there, but that's all right. That's not going to hurt anything. Set that off to the side. Now uh, we're going to try it. It has a, uh, I guess, a slight grassiness to it, and it has a slight mint um, taste to it because uh, this is a member of the mint family, so uh, it does have that uh, a slight taste. I think a couple drops of uh, lemon juice and a couple of drops of a honey in here would make this actually uh, quite enjoyable. But this is uh, what the old timers would collect um, to take for their nerves. They would uh, collect bunches of this, they would dry it, they would have it in the winter time and uh, they would use it in uh, the evening before they would uh, go to bed. But it's just one of those natural things. Um, that could possibly uh, come in handy. This knowledge could come in handy um, if things go uh, really bad and you're not able to uh, get certain medication or whatnot. This is just a natural remedy and it's a natural thing that uh, the old timers used and uh, they used it quite a bit. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys got a little information, a little entertainment out of this video here. Um, just sharing some of this uh, old time knowledge with you guys, how the old timers made their catnip tea. You guys take care.